Well, Jacques, and we're off, making our way down to the crow's nest top. Hey, got a white truck on the other side, followed by another white truck over there, too. Uh, looking back, say goodbye to the city, Jacques. Okay, Charlie, goodbye, Calgary, and uh, we see you in a couple days. Another white truck on the other side, Jacques. Keep track, count them up. Well, there's one coming up behind us now, Jacques, look out. Well, uh, Charlie, uh, that uh, white truck shield deflector, we'd have no problems. Okotoks right ahead here. And we got those autumn colors looking pretty good. So we'll head her on down the highway here. Another white truck and the big rock. And welcome to Black Diamond. Going into Black Diamond, all the fall colors are out here looking pretty good. And we end up with another nice day here for the trip. Uh oh, that white truck's gonna nail that car. And a little uh, country grocery store. And on down Highway 22, we are going. What else will we find there, Jacques? Oh, well, Charlie, uh, you'll never know. Maybe some wild animals or something. Yeah, that's true. You just never know. And looking back there in the windy highway, hey, three horses there, four of them looking at us. Carrying on down here, join those autumn colors. Hey, there's that truck mounted up on the perch there with another white truck coming at us here as we make our way down into Longview. There's this town sign and the cowboy with those silhouettes in the background. There he is, the cowboy. Got some wagon wheels there at the bottom. This old boat. And the motorcycle. Familiar landmarks. Same with this derrick right beside the hotel and that old truck sitting in front there too. And this little scene here with the cowboy, the horse, and other goodies. Oh, Charlie, there's the jerky shop. Gotta stop for jerky. Yeah, we'll get another time. And we got the oil well pumping away above the trees there. Carrying on down the highway, and all those baseball caps nailed to the top of the fence post along here. Oh, Charlie, I'm still ticked off. I didn't get any beef jerky. Uh, we'll get it another time, Jacques. But Charlie, I wanted it today. No, another time. Oh, Charlie, sometimes you're so hard to deal with. Hey, the big cowboy here, Jacques. Are you a ranch? July 1st, we'll be there. Another white truck coming. Kind of cloudy out there now. And all those autumn colors. Halfway, Jock Chain Lakes. There it is. Uh, Charlie, I think we're making pretty good time. I do believe we are. Okay, we'll follow Chain Lakes along for a little bit here. When typically, our phone service goes out in this area. On down the highway we go, looking for adventure. Yeah, just gotta love those autumn colors. Just don't get enough of the reds though, that's the only thing out here in the highway. Well, Charlie, back east, uh, you get lots of red colors. And you can, but we're not back east there, Jock, so another trip will do that. Sometime in the fall time, maybe a trip out east to see all the colors would be great. And carrying on down that highway, look at that, up and down, up and down we go. It's a long, long road, but it is quite scenic here. And uh, Highway 22 follows right beside these mountains. So, lots of scenery on the way down. Well, Charlie, it's quite beautiful. The autumn colors and the mountain in the backdrop, uh, very nice. That is very nice, Shock. Yeah. yeah. Clouds up there, too, I noticed. Yeah, behind a white truck, Shock. We better keep our distance. 
Although, you know, we don't have to. We have the white truck shield deflector. We're good to go these days. But uh, we will follow him for a little ways here, I think. Just enjoying the scenery. Nice day for a drive, and we have a destination in mind here, so pretty good. Oh, Charlie, a double whammy on the other side. Yeah, that was a double whammy truck, all right. Well, they weren't in cahoots on that one. Hmm, see any cloud formations up there in the sky? Well, they're being followed by a white truck truck. Look out. One coming the other way. Oh my goodness, we got a couple of them behind us now. They're ganging up on us, Jacques. What are we going to do? Uh, Charlie, uh, we just relax and enjoy the journey. Hey, that's what I'm thinking, Jacques. Hey, you got some snow on the mountains over there, too, I notice. Yeah, here comes another truck. Well, we're heading west on Highway 3 now, so we're getting some nice mountain shots right in front of us. Looking good. And we're getting the mountains a bit to the south as well. And there's clouds of the mountains there too, I noticed. And just heading on down that scenic highway. I love these scenic highways, Jacques, let me tell you. if we're going to get any rain or snow here. Hard to say. Oh, white truck over the hill. And we're going to go to Lundberg Falls for a stop here and check out the falls. See what they're doing. And those people standing on top of the falls there, they better be careful. Yeah, having a look at the different falls here, down the river, and the other way to the Rainbow Bridge, and looking down below at the waterfalls, and very nice colors here. I see people down below as we walk along the fence here for a different kind of view. Well, it seemed like a good idea to cross to the other side. Yeah, <clears throat> looking back at the falls from the platform there, Rainbow Bridge, and then the other way to the falls. And back to Rainbow Bridge, because we're hanging around here now. Uh, Charlie, uh, it's uh, nice to explore here and uh, uh, see the sights. There's a little pathway down below there, walking along the river gorge there the smiley barn jock the smiley barn yeah okay i guess we're gonna maybe head back to the other side here what do you think found some of these berries very nice eh yeah there's a pathway and beautiful beautiful area here look at the sky it's just incredible well, there's the falls. And that barn peeking around the bush there. Rainbow Bridge, and then looking the other way, and that's it.
again, we passed by the old pickup truck as we're leaving Limbrick Falls. And back on the highway, the Burmese tree with Frank Slide in the background there. There it is, the Burmese tree. Crow's Nest Pass coming right in front of us here. And we don't have too many fall colors there. Leech collieries in the building in the old hotel and oh, a little more greenery. Crow's Nest Mountain and Window Mountain right beside it. Yeah, that hasn't really turned into the greatest fall colors here as yet. An old mining structure here. And white truck approaches. Old mining structure with Frank Fly in the background and the little tiny church. We continue on down Highway 3. Past the Frank Slide area. The highway, the railway tracks. And the little tiny tree up on the little cliff there. Well, Charlie, another way drunk. And then uh, we get into the town of Frank. Yeah, the town of Frank. There's the Frank Slide. Amazing that it buried a whole town. Oh, Charlie, that was a tragic day for sure. The white truck pulling the invisible trailer. Yeah, another one coming around on the other side with Crow's Nest Mountain peeking up over the top there, Jacques. And you got Window Mountain to the right. Ah, oh, Charlie, uh, that's always nice when the weather is uh, cloud not so cloudy, we get to see them. Yeah, most of the time we do. So there they are, and we're going to make our way to the last town in the Crow's Nest Pass, called Coleman. And looking through the field by the railway tracks. Railway tracks there still. Mountain off in the distance. Oh, we got some deer on the road here, Jacques. Oh, Charlie, that's too cool. Yeah, they usually hang around this area. And yeah, that one's looking to scratch and it, scratch itself or something. I don't know. Yeah, just the grazing the way. Always cool to see these deer, I'll tell you. 